Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss a common viral infection, mumps. We'll discuss its introduction, etiopathogenesis, clinical features, diagnosis, and treatments. So let us begin. Starting by an introduction, we have mumps is an acute viral infection characterized by painful enlargement of salivary glands, mostly the parotid glands. Mumps caused by an RNA virus of genus Paramyxovirus. Mumps is very rare, fewer than 100,000 cases per year in India. It affects the parotid glands, salivary glands that is easily preventable by vaccination. As you can see here in a diagram, we have a paramyxovirus. Now you can have some common questions like what is a paramyxovirus? Do I get mumps if I am not being vaccinated? Does it spread if I share quarters with unvaccinated peoples? Will it suppress my immunity? The answers to all of your questions will be given ahead. Starting with etiopathogenesis, we have most cases occur between 5 to 15 years of age. Infants are rarely affected due to the presence of transplacental acquired maternal antibodies. Men is the only reservoir of the infection. Cause a carrier state does not exist. So, this infection can only be transmitted from one person to another person. The incidence of occurrence of the disease is high in winter and spring. The infections can be occurred by contact to the infected person and by airborne droplets, also through urine and saliva. The virus proliferates in the respiratory epithelium and then enters in the circulatory system. The secondary infection rate varies from 40 to 80 percent. Mom's infections can be prevented by childhood vaccinations. Now, here are some clinical features. An incubation period of 2 to 4 weeks, the symptoms begin actually with fever, malaise, and headache. Mom's infection is characterized by unilateral and bilateral parotitis. This presents an ear and jaw tenderness while chewing and dryness of mouth, swelling at an angle outward of the jaw. The ear lobe may appear to be pushed upward and outward. The defrevances and resolution may take about a week. It means that a person will recover after a proper treatment from 1 to 7 days. It occasionally includes the other salivary glands, for example, submaxillary and sublingual. Now here you can see some common symptoms of mumps: headache followed by pain in joints, swollen parotid glands, loss of appetites and nausea, fever or dry mouth. The best prevention is vaccination. The vaccine we get for mumps is MMRB, which stands for mumps, measles and rubella vaccine. Now, another clinical example are the testes are enlarged and tethered. Some degree of atrophy is developed in the affected testes and case of sterility is very rare. CNS in form of aseptic meningitis is seen in less than 10% of the people, the patient with parotitis. The recovery is generally an uneventful as we have seen that recovery may take 1 to 7 days. Mumps is the one of the commonest cause of aseptic meningitis in children. Manifestation include auditory nerve damage with deafness, cerebral ataxia, facial neuritis, transverse myelitis and willing bear syndromes. Uncommon presentation include pancreatitis. Now we have a common symptom, fever followed by headache, painful chewing and swallowing, swollen salivary glands. These are some common symptoms. Now diagnosis. The diagnosis involved is basic and clinical. Serum amylase is elevated in almost 90% of the cases. The diagnosis may be confirmed by serum IgM ELIJA. The ELIJA is also used to diagnose HIV virus. Some collected samples from CSF, urine and blood. Here are methods to collect diagnostic samples, buccal swab PCRs, antibody tests, salivary culture, pancreatic enzyme testing and spine tap. Now we have treatment and prevention. Symptomatic treatment is provided as this is the case of viral infection, antipyretic and warm saline mouthwash, for example salt water with turmeric can be the best remedy, aseptic meningitis. Response is well for mannitol and steroids can be used in several cases. Prevention requires the isolation of patient until the symptoms are subsidized. Now we have a common case of mumps as you can see. That's all in. Thank you so much for your patient listening. Do you have any questions? Feel free to ask.